dead have been uh, just uh, filled up with uh, the sounds of gunfire here tonight. Um, there's still lights on all over Baghdad, and there are bullets uh, being fired up into the air. You can see traces along. And, and initially, when they told us that we were deploying um, in support of Desert Storm, you know, even my heart dropped. That caused the aircraft to start on fire. And of course, a KC-135 is loaded with thousands and thousands of gallons of jet fuel. I feel very, very proud that I had the opportunity to deploy because I knew that this was a watershed event. This was something big. And if you didn't go to this, you'd be kicking yourself forever. Two chiefs at Mountain Home Air Force Base remember how Operation Desert Storm showed the world America's air superiority and shaped how wars are fought today. Our actions were based upon dropping bombs versus hand-to-hand -hand or, or fire going from, you know, between us and, and uh, Saddam Hussein and his regime. It gave us a sense on how we could better do business, which helps us today. Back then, brand new technology was stealth aircraft. The F-117 set a standard for modern air power. Everybody was crazy about it. That's all you heard, it was stealth, stealth, stealth. We had that technology, and that technology was a piece to us winning that war. It set air power in a whole different direction. Air Force technology wasn't the only change due to Operation Desert Storm. Those who served also had to develop a new mindset. Initially, when they told us that we were deploying um, in support of Desert Storm, you know, even my heart dropped at the time because I was like, I didn't, I knew I was in the military, but we're, we're, we're about to engage in something that, you know, that I might not come back. Initially, folks didn't understand, hey, I'm in the military and this could happen. It became real. But now when folks come in, they, they know they're going to deploy. So I believe that whole mindset um, back then versus now is better. That's expected now. It's not, it's not that Cold War era. Folks know that we're fighting on a daily basis and, and, and we have to remain vigilant um, at, at, at all costs. The nickname for this back then was chocolate chip. And you could get your beer ration, two cans of beer a day. Shepherd's pie, you had the potatoes and then they had a, a layer of cheese on the top and then you see grease. So it was like fuzz, we were like, what is this? But we got used to it. It says a message from home. Your loved one would put it in, make a recording on here, and then send it to you. This was my victory parade. That's my son, my oldest son. At the end of the day, that's what means the most, being able to come home. I remember the night that Desert Storm began, a KC-135 landed hard on the runway and the refueling boom came disconnected from its cradle and dragged down the runway at high speed. That caused the aircraft to start on fire. And of course, a KC-135 is loaded with thousands and thousands of gallons of jet fuel. And I remember talking to my partner. I said, I can, I can save this plane. Chief Lean climbed a rope up into the blazing C-135 and was able to shut down the aircraft, allowing the flames to be put out and preventing a possible catastrophe. I feel like I was fulfilling a promise I made to the Air Force that if they needed me, I could be counted upon. And, and, and just to see the camaraderie, uh, the friendships uh, that, that were built over time was uh, something that you can never really forget. You remember and you cherish those moments. You know, even though we were, we were in time of turmoil and, and, and war, you know, a lot of goodness came out of it. What should be remembered about Desert Storm? I think it's very, very obvious. Air power wins wars. 25 years later after Desert Storm, mission success. And we will continue to have mission success way or long after I'm gone the willingness, the dedication that our men and women have across the Air Force. I am fully confident that we will continue to fight on terrorism, um, on ISIS, and, um, for years to come, you know, and we will win.